You do realize this an emergency, right? I work for network support for a large retailer. I have different retail stores that call us from time to time about their internet being out or connectivity issues. This was an actual conversation I had with a store manager last week. They called me early in the morning to let me know their internet was out. This conversation was two hours later. Already spoke with the ISP and they had a wide area outage. They call my direct line and don't even give me a chance to answer hello. Store manager our internet is still out. Me yes, the ISP is still working to resolve the issue for your area. Store manager you do realize this is an emergency right? I can't accept payments or access our shared drive on the manager's computer. Me. Yes. But I can't make the ISP work faster than they already are. They have cut fiber lines in your area they are trying to fix. Store manager can you escalate it? Me it's. It's already escalated. That's why they have a greeting on their system saying they are aware of the issue and currently working to get it resolved ASAP. Store manager well call them and tell them to hurry up. Me number. That's not how this works. People can be so impatient. At my last NOC job we had a sign saying that emergency meant blood, fire, flood, or electrocution risk. Anything below that was only urgent. Note we were a managed service provider for digital advertising boards. Nothing life critical. I recall multiple times when an irate user repeatedly called asking when their critical problem would be fixed. Eventually they asked. When S East 1 shat the bed a couple of years ago, I had a manager tell me to escalate the Amazon because all the S3 hosted images in our knowledge. Base had disappeared and this was a critical customer facing issue. A third of the internet goes down and you're worried about some fucking KB pictures? She IT. I'm waiting as fast as I can. Store manager can you escalate it? Well, that's why there's a literal truck parked at the location the line was cut. I do point of sale support for restaurants. I've lost count how many times I've had to tell someone it's an ISP or electrical issue. I had one site call after hours to say their system was down. They had lost power to the me back when power is restored. To be fair, the SM is just passing on the love they have received from customers insisting that there must be stock out the back the magical wishing giving room, even though the national supplier is out of stock. Tell them to hurry up. As if they're just sitting out there repairing the line and are like fuck I wish we could just be. Here all day oh. That guy said to hurry up. I wasn't going to until he said that. Okay. I'll ignore safety and procedure to somehow do this faster. Under my old manager it was call them once an hour for an update escalate to CEO. I get it. Sometimes companies say they are working on stuff when they aren't. But if you have a major outage then they are working on it and all you can do is wait. Store managers are either dream users or the most aggravating people. There really isn't much in between. I have horror stories from Superstorm Sandy. The power was out and the generator blew up. The data center had no backup. So our servers were down for a couple days. People lost their minds. You do realize we're losing hundreds maybe thousands of dollars? You do realize people lost their lives. Right? This storm wiped out the northeast. That doesn't have jack shit to do with me in Missouri. Get my site up now. I did once reply with are you on fire? No? Call me back when the all clear email is sent when we had a serious system failure and they had a printer problem. Impatient is tolerable. Idiotic is not. That's why I had two additional lines. With different ISPs. 
added at my HQ when the primary fiber line was cut by some dingus with a backhoe down the street. Admin our one email domain isn't working. Us begin troubleshooting. After two hours of troubleshooting and realizing that the DNS records set by the state are out of date, we're trying to get confirmation of the issue before sending an email. Admin obviously. We weren't clear enough how important this issue is. And we need it resolved ASAP. We were told that we would not lose access to this email when we went to Google. You were supposed to inform us when something this drastic affects the district. Couldn't hold it in and sent back my first snarky response after four years of good behavior. It really irked me with the obviously part. While it's certainly possible the store manager is feeling pressure from both above and below to get this going and get money moving again as quickly as possible. He needs to get it through his head that some things will simply take however long they take. There's physical limits to how fast certain work can go. This is why I also take cash. Yeah, but it's an emergency. That's when you present them with an estimate both one-time setup cost and ongoing monthly cost. Of configuring a failover to an alternate internet provider most likely based on a cell phone through a different company whose internet connects to the backbone via different cables than those used by your primary ISP. If they're willing to pay the price, they get failover capability. If they aren't, they lose connectivity when their ISP has an outage. You do realize this is an emergency, right? I do. Have a nice day. A few years ago this was San Jose, California. Lost internet backbone 2x due to cut trunk lines. One accident. One was not. Hum big gas station perhaps? To these types. I just say what they want to hear. Yes sir. I will get right on it. With the urgency it deserves. Don't you worry. I will have the appropriate urgency in my voice to get TGE message across. You are a tech worker therefore, everything you touch moves at the speed of electricity. Hop to S. I mean why don't you have LTE failover if the internet is so essential for their business to function? If they can't generate revenue, you can understand why he's stressing. He's probably going to miss KPIs. It's the acronyms why use them with people not in tech. It comes across as rude in non-tech circles. Sometimes the only thing you can do is tell your client that you will escalate their complaint to the next level. Some people cannot accept that everything possible is already being done. Yeah it's fun trying to explain to some of these people that the problem is bigger than the company. I dealt with this once back in the 1990s when the AT backbone went down for the entire northeastern seaboard. Like the help desk can do anything about an ATT outage. 